Hello Aquarius, this is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we are looking at your mid-month checkup for October 2018. Alright Aquarius, let's get straight into it. Let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. What are the messages for my Aquarius sun rising moon for the remainder of October? What do they need to know? What energy is going in? to the remainder of October. Okay. And the energy coming in from the beginning of October to the remainder of October, sorry, I'm on a wooden chair and it's all squeaky, so sorry. Um, the sun reversed. So this is the energy from that's already happened. Now, the thing with the sun reverse is it's still very positive. It just may be a little bit more slow moving. So Aquarius, you may have been anticipating, expecting something, and it hasn't happened yet, but it will, okay? It's just going to take a little bit longer, a little bit more effort than you had anticipated. All right, so the this is the overview. Interesting. Okay. Um, this is relationship, uh, work, career, health and wealth. And then also, this is my body soul connection. Okay, so <laughs> we've got the good and we've got, it's not the bad, it's just, and it's not even challenging, it's just like, ugh, okay. So um, the good is two of wands is overarching everything you do. So keep your eye on the prize, Aquarius. Keep your eye on the prize. It's going to happen. You hold the whole world in your hand. And now it's just how are you going to implement everything that you want to happen? So really um, be clear. I always say that, be clear, because it's so important, especially for you, Aquarius, because I feel like you have so many ideas. You have so many things that you are cooking and are changing and shifting that you may be... <laughs> Um, not devoting enough attention to a really major project that'll change everything else. So that major project that you're like, I know this is the big one, this is the big one, give more time and energy into. And then those other side projects you love will start to start to manifest. I am so happy, Aquarius, that you have this Ten of Cups. All right, so love is good. You know, relationship is good. And even if you are in a situation right now that is rocky, maybe you did um, just get a divorce. Maybe you did just break up with someone. You have so much support and love surrounding you. People love you, Aquarius. And in Aquarius, I know sometimes it's hard to take that in and it's also hard to um, accept and acknowledge but it is surrounding you the rest of October and I am going to take it because I'm an Aquarius moon and man, do I need to feel the love. I need it. <laughs> I like embarrassingly, I have not been on a date in a very long time. And I actually did go out on a date for the first time last week in, I kid you not, four, four years, four years, four or five years. It's, it's been a long time. So I will take this 10 of cups, love Aquarius. I am going to be with your tribe, um, this month. Um, but yeah, you have love and support. So just breathe it in, breathe it in and enjoy. Just really, I can't stress it enough. Even if there's some trouble, even if there's some things that are a little sticky, there are people there who are willing to just tuck you in and listen to you and feed you chocolate. So take it. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to uh, career and your work, we have the magician reversed. So for you, Aquarius, this actually, this energy is more about you. Okay. I feel like you have the power, you wield the power, you know how to use it and manipulate it. So be careful with the manipulation that you are doing to what you know. Um, 
you know, it's like I feel I feel like you understand your job better than most. You understand how to do it better than most. And because of that, people are coming to you for help and coming to you for guidance. And though you give it, I feel like you're holding back some information just so they don't do as well as you you would have, you know, because you know more than they do. And that's fine, it, you know, if you feel like that's what you need to do, I understand. But just make sure that you're doing it in an honest and, and, and beautiful way. So if you're trying to keep boundaries up for yourself, you know, do that. But do it honestly to them. You know, when they come and ask you for help, you would be like, you know what, I have a lot of different ways and a lot of different things that I could help you with. But all I can give you right now are is A, B, and C. Okay, because I have to take care of my own work, but here's a good starting point. Go for it, you know, and, and so just be honest with them. Be like, you know what? I know a lot more than you in a nice, kind way, and I can't give it all to you. But what I can do is I can point you in the right direction. Okay, so that's that's a huge difference than being like, well, this is what you need to do. And then them thinking that's it and knowing and you knowing that that's not it. All right. So, um. Because the magician in reverse, I feel like for you, is that you have um, bountiful information, but you just don't want to give it. And that's fine. Uh, you know, it's like people need to find out their own information. But if you guide them into finding out that own information, I think that's really healthy. And I think that's that'll make you feel good and point them in the right direction. And then... Um, you know, kind of get you off the hook too, you know, so that you don't have to do their project for them and they understand, you know, you're not going to do it for them. Okay. Um, so use your power for, for good. <laughs> All right. With the health and the wealth, we have the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Um, it's good. It's good. So, I think you're going to see progress if you started a new health regime. If you if you're doing something different in your in in your day to day life, you're finally going to see it. You're you're finally going to see the results. And then also with wealth, I think if you've been do, you know putting things into action, changing some things, maybe starting to really you know tend to your budget or tend to a financial situation, you're going to see some growth. And it's you're going to go, aha, okay, now I see. Now we're cooking with grease. Now things are happening. And uh, also people are going to actually acknowledge you too. Like, wow, yeah, I really see, you know, you look really trim. Or, oh, wow, um, you know, because you'll say, oh, I've got it, like going out to dinner or something because you know things are where you need them to be and people are like well okay so things are turning out okay for you you know so that's that that'll feel nice so all of these things like outside sources your everyday life is doing really well my only challenge that i really see for you this month aquarius has to do with you we have the knight of pentacles in reverse okay so i feel like there's either someone you know, just kind of lurking around saying some negative things to you. But I feel like more so it's you saying negative things to you and trying to just put a little wedge in your self-confidence and put a wedge of doubt in in this beauty that you're creating. And and also kind of going back to this, this sun in reverse energy of, yeah, it didn't happen. It's never going to happen for you, Aquarius. You should quit now and in fact no it's you're on the right path you're doing what you need to it's just taking a little bit longer than you thought and that's okay but there is like this little black dot of doubt and I don't want it to grow in you okay so this doubt that you feel and that you're creating within yourself or if somebody is saying this to you is stupid okay it is dumb to dumb 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 don't listen to it Okay, if you need to put just this part on repeat and wake up to my voice every morning saying, don't doubt yourself. You've got it. You're on the right path. Look at the cards. Cards don't lie. You are smart. You, you're so smart you can manip manipulate sometimes. You have a tribe who loves you and you are creating change in your life that people can see. Keep going, Aquarius. It may take a little bit longer than you anticipated, but it will happen. Okay? So this this Knight of Pentacles, I'm like, ugh, 
darn it, don't ruin a good thing for my Aquarians. They they deserve this this um, this path towards a, amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna pull an angel card for you. Be willing to forgive. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. This is so linked to the Knight of Pentacles. So that really clarifies who the Knight of Pentacles is. It's it's definitely you, but it could be a past relationship that ha is gone or somebody who has passed on to the next realm um, who who is still manis manifesting themselves in your subconscious. You know, and like almost like pulling at these things that in the past you you may have you would have liked to have changed. You know that you you grew from, you learned from. You are no longer that person from the past. We all make mistakes. There's no way around it. We all say things we oh gosh cringe at, or you know things that we did that were like oh man that was not a smart move, but that's how we learn. We just, you know, it's like, oh, that was not a smart move. And now I know what a smart move is, you know? So forgive yourself and also forgive this person who no longer is really in your realm. You know, let them go. Let them go. Find peace with them and say, I forgive you. And, and I forgive myself for the situation with you. So that you can really embrace all of this yumminess here and turn the sun right side up. Okay, so if you enjoyed this reading, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Please do that. It makes a huge difference, and it keeps me inspired to keep doing the readings for you. Also, become a patron. It makes a really huge difference, too, in, in doing these readings, but it also keeps me connected to you. And so you can contact me individually, and we can we can create a tribe together, slow and steady. Uh and if you want a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my Patreon page, um, go to my website, or find me on Instinko. All right, and as always, remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings. <laughs>